Elon Musk gives us a Starship orbital flight update. NASA aims to splash down Crew Dragon this weekend. Falcon completes a couple more missions since we last spoke, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. On Tuesday afternoon, Elon virtually attended the Morgan Stanley conference to speak mostly on his new company, Twitter, but finished by taking a few minutes to discuss Starlink and Starship. More than half of all satellites uh, in orbit right now are Starlink satellites. Um, so if you add up all satellites launched cumulatively, they are less than Starlink. And it sounds like a Starship launch attempt to orbit in March seems less likely now that we're more than a week into it. But we are getting, we are getting close for our first orbital attempt of, of Starship. Um, hopefully in the next month or so, we'll, we'll have our first attempt. I'm not saying it'll get to orbit, but I am guaranteeing excitement. Uh, um, so, it won't be boring. Um, and so I think we've got, I don't know, hopefully about an 80% chance of reaching orbit this year. It'll probably take us a couple more years to achieve uh, full and rapid reusability, um, which I can't, I can't emphasize enough, is it is, the, it is the profound breakthrough that is needed to extend life beyond Earth. At Starbase, Starship 24 is just a couple heat shield tiles away from filling out its thermal protection system, while Booster 7, for the time being, still rests on the orbital launch mount that received its own shield upgrades. Updating this in post-production, the Chopsticks just cradled B7 and is standing by to lift her off the pad. Keep an eye on that Padres channel for live views. Meanwhile, work on subsequent vehicles continue. Booster 9 began receiving its Raptor engines in High Bay 2 this week, and structural test nose cone NC-31 left the production yard for Massey's test site on Wednesday night. NASA has also released a computer simulation of Starship HLS's landing burn for Artemis 3. The design of the landing leg sticks out to me the most. So speaking of NASA, Crew-5 is now expected to undock and splash down from the International Space Station on Saturday. That's tomorrow for those of you watching this the day of publication. At 2.05 a.m. and 9.19 p.m. Eastern Time, respectively. Furthermore, Space News reported that NASA and Russia are working together to update their existing agreement to allow cosmonauts to fly on the next two Crew Dragon missions to the ISS, which of course would be Crew 7 and 8. Just a couple hours after our previous episode dropped on Friday last week, SpaceX launched another flock of 51 Starlink 1.5 sats from Vandenberg Space Force Base, California to the second shell in low Earth orbit. This was the 12th flight for this Falcon first stage, landing on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Then yesterday, that'd be Thursday, the company launched another 40 sat grouping of one web satellites for Starlink's competitor from Slick 40 Florida. If you tuned in with me for this live stream, you got to see Sayed Kevin, Kim Sayed Guy, because no audio of the landing burn was provided. However, afterwards, SpaceX did us a solid by uploading an even better angle with audio to Twitter. All 41 web satellites were deployed successfully over a half hour time span an hour after liftoff. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. On Monday, Japan launched the maiden flight for their new flagship H3 rocket. With more payload capacity at half the cost of its successful predecessor, the H2A, this $36 million vehicle is expected to be a strong competitor in the launch services market by the Japanese government. But although it soared past Max-Q and side booster separation hurdles without issue, the second stage engine failed to ignite, prompting the order to self-destruct just minutes after liftoff. Current speculation by the Japan Aerospace Agency is that the engine likely didn't light due to an abnormality in the power system. The second stage engine ignition has not been confirmed yet. We continue to confirm the situation. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by. My gratitude goes out to those of you on Locals supporting the show, but I'll see you all next time. Have an nominal weekend and Godspeed.